a focus for some people around the NFL. Interesting timing of these reports too, but James Palmer, a uh, national NFL reporter, reported this this morning, quote, only concern the Patriots have bringing him in this early is confidence. There's more games now to be played on a team we know isn't talented and in a rebuild for your confidence to get whacked. They saw happen with Mac Jones in his second season. Sometimes when that confidence takes a whack, it's hard to bounce back. That really is a concern that they want to make sure that doesn't happen. You know what my concern is, T? It's not Drake May's confidence. Well, it is, actually. His confidence <laughs> and his mechanicals to take a hit. My concern is the confidence that you have in the leadership of the Patriots. For them to put out this report today, of all things, for that to get leaked to James Palmer, are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> effing kidding me? Who put this out? Because whose decision was it to start Drake May? Was it Gerard Mayles, which he fully owned? Was it the coaching staff? Was it Elliot Wolf? Was it Jonathan Kraft, Robin Glazer, and Robert Kraft getting on a conference call with Gerard and saying, play the kid? But to leak this right now, are you effing kidding me? And also, <laughs> you're worried about his confidence? You know why he's going to get whacked time and time again? It's because you guys are terrible at building a roster to support a rookie quarterback. Yeah. Don't doubt Drake May. Don't blame it on the guys on the field. You have these concerns, go look in the mirror. I hate that this leaked out at this time because right now more than anything, that entire building needs to be behind, be behind Drake May. I think he's confident enough to block this stuff out, T. I know he's going to handle it. I'm very confident Drake May doesn't give an F about this report, but that is so, so, such nasty work. Whoever leaked this from the Patriots to put this out into the ethos. Yeah, we're concerned about his confidence because he's going to keep getting hit. Yeah, no, duh. Everyone knows that. He decided <laughs> to start him. Go put out a better offensive line. Give him better receivers. Get him a better play caller team. Uh, look, I'm glad you went the leadership direction because I just want to I just want to talk about the player. I have zero concerns about Drake May's confidence right now and moving forward, even if it gets a hell beat out of him. Here's why. I'm glad Mac Jones is involved in this report because Mac Jones had five star recruits around him at every single stinking position, everywhere you looked. He had the creme de la creme, the most elite college football has to offer in Roll Tide, Alabama. They weren't losing to Vanderbilt then, George. And, you know, you get to the NFL, you don't have that. I mean, hell, man, you went from, like, filet mignon to hot pockets, okay? But that's the NFL, and you got to figure it out. When they had the talent, when they had the leadership, play calling, et cetera, around Mac Jones that rookie year, he looked good. Then it went downhill. That's the NFL, not blaming anyone, although you could, right? Especially I know you want to with those coaches that he had, but – that is the NFL. That's life in the league. You lose coordinators, you lose talent, it happens. He was not able to pivot. Confidence was an issue, of course. That's not the case with Drake May, okay? Drake May was hot pockets also in college. Like, it's this is not anything unusual for him. The lack of weapons. Check, had that in Chapel Hill. A putrid offensive line. Check, had that in Chapel Hill. A non-football power. Alabama has expectations to win the natty every year, bruh. Not the case in Chapel Hill. It's a basketball school. And, oh, by the way, right now the Patriots are the laughing stock of the league. Check. Not going to be an issue for Drake May. I, I just think, look, I think his confidence is going to be just fine. I believe the key for us media fans – is look for the positive, look for the, the flashes, look for the things that he does in this game and beyond that we can hang our hat on and we can build on in the future. He's going to give us all that. He's going to give us all the goods the rest of the way out. Let's figure out his strengths. Let's see his weaknesses. When we see them, let's see if they improve week to week. Does he lean into his strengths? There's going to be a lot of losing. It's going to be a lot of battered and bruised Drake May at these press conferences. How is he on the podium? I mean, these are things we have to look for and we have to see. I'm not convinced he's going to have the same damn leadership that you're talking about. I don't know if Gerard Mayo is going to be there. 
I damn sure <laughs> right now don't believe Alex Van Pelt's going to be here in the future. I don't know if Elliot Holt's going to be here in the future. You know who is? I think Drake May. So let's see how he handles I want to see that. I want to see that play out. How does he handle losing? How does he handle adversity? Let's get some building blocks from this kid. One thing I have no concern over is his confidence. I think it'll be just fine. Look, he, his makeup was a big reason on why he was a top three pick. Like, right. let's not forget that his dad was an athlete at UNC. Both of his brothers played college sports. Like, there's a big part of his family, his competitiveness, on top of what his size is. I mean, he's so, he, he just he checks every single box along with his athleticism. But the realness is that that confidence does take a, take a hit if you keep getting popped and you start seeing ghosts to quote Sam Darnold and you see how long it takes to build it up. I'm with you. Like, I don't have the confidence that AVP will be there when Drake May gets into his best years because I don't think it's going to work. But there is the cautionary tale and there is the PTSD that the Patriots should have about the way they handled Mac Jones and how that fell apart because they took a first round pick and a guy that was a pro ball alternate at a minimum had it where he was a top 15 serviceable starting quarterback, top 15 serviceable starting quarterback. And they absolutely ruined it. I understand where that PTSD would come back in. It's just the, the just putting this out right now with this timing. I think that's complete BS, and you're doing wrong by the future of your franchise. Yeah. Whoever put this out to James Palmer, and now have that conversation, but be hey James, keep this off record. But this is a real concern for me. You're doing so wrong. You're doing such a disservice to everyone in that building by putting this out. That's why I wonder, like, who does this come from? And it is someone going out there and doing the, yeah, well, we're putting him out there, but the concern is the confidence. If he keeps getting hit, he could end up like Mac Jones, where it's putting the blame on someone else. Well, because then it's, well, he kept getting hit because the offensive line stunk. Well, he kept getting hit because the scheme wasn't helping him. Well, he kept getting hit because the wide receivers weren't getting separation. Okay, who set him up with that? The head coach that hired the OC. The front office guy that chose the blockers, that chose the receivers, that went with these draft picks, and the owner that chose not to spend in free agency. So that's why, do I have concern for his confidence? Yes, because as good as he is, he's still a human being. And we've seen it happen time and time again with prospects in the past where guys came out polished, but it was just too much for them. I'm not going to say it's going to get to that point. I'm not predicting that. I've said, I like Drake May. I'm mad he's starting because I don't like the situation he's in. Only so many quarterbacks can overcome a bad situation or bad structure, none can overcome terrible structure. And that's what they have with the Pats. T, when Patrick Mahomes lost to Tom Brady in the Super Bowl, he didn't have an offensive line. That's right. Like Tom, Patrick Mahomes couldn't overcome that stuff. Yeah. Not to get to that point, but let's understand what it takes to make a, wider, a, a quarterback flourish. Yep. And it's so much. You know me, it starts up front, man. And then yep. it goes from out there. And with the rookies we've seen succeed, the Caleb Williams, the Jaden Daniels, we've seen the pivot come from their play calling. Yep. We've seen their offensive coordinators adapt. We've seen their offensive line wake up. And that's also a Caleb Williams that started 37, no, yeah. 35 games in college. Yep. Played almost 40 because he was doing backup duties and cleanup yep. for Spencer Rattler. Yeah, and that's two a Jaden Daniels. Two, two programs, yep. And that's a Jaden Daniels with 55 starts. Drake yep. May is coming in with 26 starts. Like yep. actual football experience matters. That's why it's important for Drake May to play now, but he's getting that really important football experience after you've remolded all his mechanics and his footwork in a crappy yeah. situation. Bro, you make a great point. Caleb, different programs in college, lots of experience. Bo Nix having success right now. Different programs in college, tons of experience. 60 plus starts, 60 plus starts for Bo Nix, T. Jaden Daniels, Jaden Daniels, multiple programs in college, a lot of experience. Drake May, one place, not a ton to work with in terms of experience. I, I still, I hear you, but I do believe that this kid, you know what helps confidence too? I, I, again, neither one of us think they're going to win a ton of games this season, but I think if he is able to buy time, extend plays with his legs, make plays. If he's losing and making plays, his confidence isn't going anywhere because he, I'm sure he understands over time as we build this thing around me, the man. Yep. Okay, to beat a man, you got to beat the man. As they build around me, we're going to be just fine in the wins department. Right now, let me show these fools why they drafted me and why they made the right move switching out Jacoby and coming to Drake May. He has to have the right expectations, T, where, hey, we lost.
but this is why, but look yep. at what you did, right? That's right? Find those positives. Drake, you're, you're raw. You're a rookie. Give yourself patience. That's right. Understand with what you're working with. Okay. We'll point out the negatives, but let's find the solutions, but also let's point out the positives. What you did right here, this read, this move, look at your footwork, how clean that is. Was that incomplete? Could that have been more accurate? Yes, but it wasn't the issue with your feet. That's right. It was an issue somewhere else. So just, it, and, and that's what good NFL coaches will do. It, it's not that difficult when it comes to that. There's just a lot to take care of.